So, um, here's my final report from Roswell today. I'm stable. My numbers are looking good. My tumor markers are going down. So, yay. Um, they've come up with some strategies to manage my nauseousness and my unwillingness to eat. Um, it's not that I'm unwilling. It's just that food, the thought of food makes me want to gag. So they're like, well, we'll just up your dose of my nausea medicine. <coughs> <coughs> not my chemo. That That's going to stay the same. Um, we were, we were discussing it and I go, here's my theory. Cause I have theories about stuff. I go, if you were to take me off the current chemo that I'm on, you'd put me on something worse, right? And she's like, probably. I go, so we'll stick with what we've got. We'll stick with what we know. We'll, we'll make that work. Um, <coughs> just save seven bucks at Wendy's. I don't, sometimes smarts hit me in the head. Dude, I ordered the children's, the children's hamburger and Happy Meal. I got a toy too. Um, and it's a smaller portion size, which is good since I'm not always hungry. I've lost 20 pounds since June. I don't recommend my method, but I have. Um... So, yay. Not yay. I, again, I don't recommend my method. It's a mixture of bulimia and anorexia. Not wanting to eat, and when I do eat, I puke it up. So, good times. I, I have always said at the beginning, when I first got cancer, that... <clears throat> party. I'm going to lose a lot of weight because chemo makes you puke. Well, the chemo I was on originally didn't make me puke and it made me hungry. Uh, the steroids made me hungry and I ate a lot. And I put all tons of weight on. I put lots and lots of weight on. So, not to say I wasn't fat before cancer, but I honestly thought I was going to lose weight the easy way. But, uh, yeah, um, my hands aren't turning red yet. My fingertips are. I bought some gloves last night. I did some shopping last night. Um, gloves with lotion in them. I'm gonna wear them to bed. So that'll help my hands stay moist. I also bought socks with lotion in them. To keep my feet moist. Because I can't look at my feet. Like, I can't get down and dirty and see the, you know, my feet. Um, so I'm just going to assume that they're turning red too and I'm putting socks with lotion on. Um, I get my new doctor next month. Coincidentally, it's a Dr. Gupta. Not the Dr. Gupta that I had when I was a kid. This is a different Dr. Gupta. How exciting. And I had good luck with the first Dr. Gupta, so Hopefully we'll have good luck with the second one. Um, what else is exciting in my neck of the woods? Not much. Um, I think I want to start a new hobby. Just kidding. Sort of kidding. I, I want to try that diamond painting that they do where you you stick the little gem on the on the board. I wanted to do paint by number, but this is very much so like paint by number, only it's a gem. Guess what y'all are getting for Christmas? Anyways, um, that's how it went. It was a good visit. They were happy to help. Um, <clears throat> happy to help. Um, I got nothing, my friends. I got nothing else. I don't do anything anymore. I don't I mean I entertain myself. I watch television. 
Um, I might have a bowel movement soon. That'll give me something to do. Um, but no. I need help with laundry. I'm going to I'm going to post that on Facebook though cuz I need help with getting it up the stairs. I'm not going to try to kill myself. Do it myself. So I have to humble myself and ask for help. Oh my god, get off me fly. There's a fly. Super fly. Jimmy Snooker. He was a murderer. He was a good wrestler. He was a murderer though. So now that I've jumped all over the world in these topics, I'm gonna I'm gonna say goodbye and thank you for watching and listening to me talk about my my cancer journey. Um, oh, well, I can say something good. When I was there, someone did ring the bell. I'm always happy for the patients that get to ring the bell. They can, uh, they had their family all around them. It was a very happy moment for them. So I'm, I'm happy for them too, because they finished treatment. And hopefully that means they don't have to be a patient of Roswell for much longer. They're still going to have to go to follow-ups and stuff. But hopefully the hard stuff's over. So good for them. Good for them. All right, I will see you all later. Thanks for watching and have a good day.